Ivy Mentors, one of your center at IvyMentors.com. And today we're going to look at the seventh question from the Digital SAT Test 1, Module 2. It's from the Blue Book app, the hardest set of math questions. Number seven reads, when given an equation relates the numbers P and N where N is not equal to zero and P is greater than nine, which equation correctly expresses N in terms of P? Whenever you've got variables and the answer choices, what you can do is you can pick numbers. You can pick for one in this case. Whenever you have two variables, pick for one and stop the other. And you always want to pick a number for the variable that is not alone. The variable in the expression and then solve for the variable that's alone. So we want to make it so that we have a whole number. So I'm going to make my p, my n equal 14. So then it becomes p equals n plus 14 over 14. So p equals n plus 1. So your p is going to equal 10. Other good choices for n would be... 2, 1, 2, any, and or 7, anything that's going to give you a whole number over there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug 10 in for P into each answer choice and eliminate anything that doesn't give me 14 for N. If I plug 10 in for P into answer choice A, I get 10 minus 9, which is 1 over 14. N is not 1 over 14. I need N to be 14. Um, answer choice B, if I put 10 in for P, I get 10 over 14 reduced to 5 over 7 plus 9. That's 9 and 5 sevenths, not 14. For my n. Answer choice C, I put 10 in for P. 10 over 14 is going to once again give me 5 over 7 minus 9, meaning get negative 8 and um, uh, 2 sevenths. So that's going to be wrong as well. And then when I plug P equals 10 into answer choice D, I get 10 minus 9, which is 1, and my n equals 14. So it looks like my answer is going to be D. Now, you could have also done this on the grade book, of course. If I've got P equals 9 plus 14 over N, then what I could do is I could subtract 9 from both sides. This cancel to P minus 9 equals 14 over N. And then to get rid of the fraction, I could multiply both sides by N. And so that N's cancel here, and then I've got N times P minus 9 equals 14. Now, again, I'm trying to get the n alone, so I divide both sides by P minus 9. P minus 9's cancel there. And then I get answer choice D, which is n equals 14. n equals 14 over P minus 9. Thank you for joining us today. If you like this video, click like. If you'd share it with someone who has difficulty, uh, isolating the other variable. If there's any question you'd like to answer from any official PSAT or SAT or ACT, leave that in the comments. I'd be happy to shoot a video on it. Click subscribe so you don't miss anything and check out that automatic video on Samsung.